Hello. Um, today is May 29th, and this is, I think, maybe my 25th installment of my daily 10 minute video diary for 30 days. Um, today's Memorial Day, and I have the day off from work, and because I've been so busy the last couple weeks, especially the last week in particular, um, getting ready for the market that I did yesterday, I decided to take today as like a no holds barred rest day, like a day of chilling. And so far I've hit that mark. It's like seven o'clock. I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth <laughs> yet, which I'm going to do after <laughs> this video, but like... I've been laying on my couch pretty much all day watching Queer Eye. Um, I did take a nap. I've done a couple of things. Like, I watered my plants. I've been doing laundry throughout the day here and there. Um, I have some laundry I'm going to fold in a, in a few minutes. I've, like, straightened up a little bit. I've um, got my house, like, a little bit back in order. But, like, I've been heavily, heavily chilling. And... That was really the goal for today, so I'm here for it. I'm wearing sweatpants, my dad's old denim work shirt. Um, like I said, I haven't even like brushed my teeth yet. I've just been like hardcore chilling. Uh, I thought it was gonna like rain all day, which it has actually rained off and on all day, but the sun keeps coming out. Um, which is fine for people who, like, want the sun to come out today. I kind of don't. I actually would love if it was just, like, super rainy and super overcast and gross all day long. Because that would just, like, really set the mood for what I'm trying to do today. And I'm excited for this week, um, to just kind of get a little bit back into some routine and some, like, slower paced days and nights. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow, which I haven't really been doing. Well, I have, but like not this past week I didn't really. And I'm excited to like get back into that and just kind of like, I don't know. I want to slow down and just like do some of my like normal shit. I'm going to do some writing tomorrow, which I've been putting off and really need to focus on. And, um, I just want to breathe a little bit. So that's my goal for this week. That's my intention I'm setting for this week. Some breath. Some breath and some re return to routine. Um, I feel like a planet must be in retrograde uh, or something. I need to like Google this because I mentioned in one of my last couple videos that like this ex of mine that I have like casual contact with texted me the other night and asked me like what I was doing and wanted me to meet him for a drink which didn't wind up working out we didn't do that um and then today another dude that like used to kind of be a little bit in my dating hemisphere reached out to me um I I did just see him on like hinge I think um and so I had the inkling that he was like currently available um he's somebody that i met on a dating app a while ago like over a year ago it's been like a hot minute we've never actually met in person but after we matched on the app like we chatted a bit we exchanged phone numbers we started following each other on instagram he's a creative person um as well and we just like it never came together for us to actually meet um and he started dating somebody pretty seriously like shortly after that which i think was like a big factor in why we never actually got together but we kept in touch and we you know have had a number of like text conversations and stuff over that period of time at one point um like he had reached out to me and like potentially wanted me to take some pictures for him and like just like different stuff um I will say that over time, as I could kind of watch his life from afar a little bit, I 
began to get the inkling that he's probably not someone that I that I would have wanted to date or that I think is like a particularly compatible person for me to date. He is a musician, he's on the road a lot, but it does also seem like his life is just a little like... I hate to even say this because I don't even know if this is true, but this is just kind of like sort of a vibe I get, but it does seem like his life is a little bit more like party focused than mine is, and he seems a little bit more like boho hippie, like let's get high and go get drinks and like get weird kind of guy. Like he seems like the kind of guy that would say let's get weird. <laughs> like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's my vibe. But <laughs> he started dating somebody shortly after like we connected and um, they seemed to move very fast. It was like he started dating her and then they lived their relationship out on social media pretty visibly um like a lot of posts of each other and just like a lot of little tidbits of their time together and their life and stuff and like it seemed as though like they fell in love very quickly and like got serious pretty quickly and were like all about each other like really fast it seemed like very intense um and then before you'd know it there were posts about her being pregnant. I feel like they had been dating for maybe a few months. Like, I could be wrong, but it was not... It wasn't long. It was pretty early on. Um, it appeared to most likely be unplanned, but I think at that point they were... From an outside point of view, it seemed to be like they were in this very whirlwind romance, and I think they kind of just grabbed the bull by the horns and were like this is destiny, let's do it. Like, that's kind of how it came across. Um, so that was a while ago. I mean, the baby's been born, you know, like, it's been over a year. So I haven't really paid attention. I guess if I kind of think back, it, I don't think I've seen him post anything about her on on social media in a little bit. Um, and that, that was kind of like a common heavy thing for a while. And then I saw him on Hinge, and then I got a, like, hey stranger <laughs> type message today on Instagram, um, which is, like, such a stereotypical, quintessential, like, text from an ex. Well, he's not an ex, because we never dated, but, like, that's, like, the, like, like, guy from your past, like, text or whatever, like, hey stranger. So, I don't know, that felt... Uh, I, it felt like a little bit like I was living a meme, but, um, you know, I said, what's up? We chatted a couple times. Um, and he said like that we should get a drink. And I was like, you know, we've never actually done that. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I know, whatever. Well, we should make that happen sooner than later. I don't know if I will or if I won't. To me, that honestly feels a little bit messy, but, um, I mean, I don't know, I potentially would just for shits and giggles. I definitely do not foresee this being as a person that I would date in any capacity. But, um, but yeah, back to like the, the stars of it all. I, I'm like, what's going on here? Like, is there, I don't know, I feel like there's a planet in retrograde or something like that, that one of the ones that like Venus or some shit is in retrograde and and bringing out the exes because that was just kind of an interesting like the first one wasn't that weird because that's a guy that I hear from periodically and we're in touch but then it's like two within a few days of each other I'm like alright there's definitely an energy an energy afoot um, but we'll see I mean we're heading into summer today's Memorial Day so it's like not the like scientific first day of summer but it's like the kind of seasonal first day of summer for a lot of people and um the energy kind of changes i think surrounding people's attitudes and people want to have fun and people want to get together and go out and do stuff and um i'm actually kind of hoping that that energy 
does bring somebody my way that might be like somebody fun to spend some time with and get to know and potentially date and I don't know we'll see that's what I would like to like manifest and conjure for my summer I would like some summer love um, so I'm putting that out into the universe but that is my 10 minutes so I'm gonna go and surf's up